Hi, I'm Ping Xiang. I'm Michelle. We are master students at Wageningen University and research majoring in food technology. So before I did my masters, I worked in CP, the Food Research Institute of ASTAR, for about a year, um, trying to develop in vitro screening methods to predict protein allergenicity. And while I was working, I realized that there's still so much more to learn beyond my bachelor's. And thus, when I saw that AGA is offering the NSS Masters for the first time, I decided to apply for it. So the NSS Masters Scholarship is one of the few scholarships that offers funding for overseas education and master's degree. And what I particularly like about this scholarship is that the combination of an overseas master's education with research training at ASTAR can equip me with the right skills and knowledge for an R&D career in both academia and the industry. I chose to study food science because Singapore is the leading food and nutrition hub of Southeast Asia and with Singapore's 30 by 30 goal, which is to produce 30% of our food locally by 2030, I believe that there are many opportunities in CP for me to contribute to develop safe and novel nutritious food. I chose to study in Maganigan because this is the leading university in the area of food sciences. I choose to study food science because it is human-centric so food is highly relevant to our lives and people do take active interest in it. And knowing that I can help make better food for people encourages me to study food technology. Maximize your time when you are overseas, meet new people, explore new places and find new hobbies. I believe these are things that help with personal development and bring new perspectives back to Singapore. It would be good to know that about the research direction that ASTAR is heading towards so that your choice of study will be relevant and you can contribute back to ASTAR's research effort upon your completion of the program. So I've been here since August and because this is the first time that I'm studying overseas and the longest that I'll ever be away from home, the initial adjustment was pretty tough because there's a lot of settling in to do and I have to establish a new routine. In addition, the school system here is different from Singapore. So instead of two semesters in a year, they have six periods. So there's only four to six weeks to learn a module and the classes are pretty intense. And it's also been a while since I last studied, so I had to find back the study momentum. But having study sessions with my friends help, and the professors here are also very eager to answer any questions that I have. But despite the challenges that I have so far, I enjoyed my time here. My experience so far has been great. Wageningen University and research attracts top talents from around the world. I meet people with different expertise and interests in food. I enjoy having meals with my friends and share about our research experience in food. Also, Wageningen University and research is very huge on sustainability and that rubbed onto me. It led me to reevaluate and question the practices back home in Singapore and think how we can do better. So I chose to do a master's because this would allow me to gain more expertise to work in the food industry and because the food sciences is a very broad area of studies. By doing a master's, I will be able to explore the different areas and to identify my area that I'm interested in and if I want to, I can still pursue a PhD after the completion of my master's. For me, I feel that a master's is more suitable because I still have a lot to learn in a highly multidisciplinary field such as food science. This will definitely improve my general expertise. Also, within a talent pool, you need diversity and masters can offer versatility and contribute in its own aspect. I think the school where you do your masters is important. A school like Hochtenegen University, which is ranked first in food technology, has a robust and intensive curriculum for, to solidify my understanding and further my fundamentals. So there is no model scholar, as we all come from different backgrounds with different experiences. So just be yourself and all the best for education. For me, it's to take the leap of faith and apply. Don't let self-doubt hold you back.